So believe it or not, yesterday was the one year anniversary of the January 6th Capitol insurrection. And unsurprisingly to anyone who's paying attention, Donald Trump supporters are still absolutely delusional about that event. At first, some of them were seemingly proud about what took place, but now, a year later, after having their brains pumped with propaganda from the likes of Tucker Carlson on Fox News, they believed that it was sort of a false flag and that this was something that was carried out by the FBI or instigated by the FBI at a minimum. So we're going to look at a clip from CNN's Donny O'Sullivan where he kind of picks the brain of uh, a couple of Trump supporters and... Yeah, there's nothing else to say, but they are still completely delusional living in a different reality than the rest of the world. January 6th attack was not the Republicans nor Trump. It was the Democrats were behind it all. They're the ones that caused it all. Do you really believe that? Oh, I know it. And there is no way that a Republican would act that way. And there is no way that Trump had anything to do with what happened on January 6th. Well, what about all the Trump supporters that have been charged and indicted? <laughs> because it's all Democratic judges and people that were on the take from the Democrats. It's been a year since the attack on the U.S. Capitol. And because of disinformation, denial, and diversion, Americans don't have a shared history, a shared understanding of what happened here on that day. I think the whole reporting of it is a giant hoax. We are very peaceful people. So it was a total setup. To me, it was the FBI had set it up. I don't believe that they were Trump supporters that did that. You said the whole thing's a setup. You don't really believe that, do you? I do. I do. Because Trump won the election, they, 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 they've proven it over and over again. At the time, some Trump supporters told me they were happy with what happened here at the Capitol. Are you proud of what happened here today? Absolutely. I think we should have gone on in and yanked the, our senators out by the hair of the head and drug them out and said, no more. <laughs> I'm absolutely uh, stand behind 100% what happened here today. 1,000%. I think it's terrible how this election was stolen. But now many deny Trump supporters are to blame. I spoke to Trump supporters at two recent events held by the former president in Florida. I think that it was set up and I think that people didn't know what was happening and I think that they went in there and they were caught in a trap if you will. You're suggesting that January 6th was, was a setup? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. But you would acknowledge there was, there was a lot of Trump supporters involved in the violence that day? I didn't see any Trump supporters in the violence. I saw people that pretended to be Trump supporters in that violence. I really don't think Trump had much to do with it than people that were supporters for him. Some were involved, but I think they were enticed by the FBI and by, by, you know, undercover agents. Federal prosecutors have charged more than 700 people in connection with the Capitol riots and repeatedly documented the rioters' support for President Trump. But some people in right-wing media have pushed the dangerous idea that it was all an FBI plot. FBI operatives were organizing the attack on the Capitol. There is absolutely no evidence whatsoever that this was some kind of false flag event staged by the Democrats or the FBI. What would you say to people who say January 6th was the biggest attack on American democracy since the Absolute Civil War? Absolute rubbish. But amid all the denial and deflection, I met one Trump supporter who said it was important to be real about what happened on that day. What do you think of the Trump supporters that stormed the Capitol? Oh, God, you talk about mis, misfound feelings. Um, seeing the folks from my side of the state that were there, and they're not the part of the campaign that we would like to have. Do you think some Trump supporters that say it's Antifa, it's Black Lives Matter, that they know that that's bullshit, but they just don't want to admit it's easier to blame someone else? Everyone is afraid to you know, take the blame. It's that simple. What really struck me is just how influential people like Tucker Carlson is. 
And it's not like I wasn't aware of the fact that he's very influential. I mean, this is the most popular cable news host in America. But he, he'll say something, and then all of the little drones will be in lockstep, and they'll all repeat the same talking points. It's as if they're a hive mind or something. But these people, it's sad almost because they're not living in reality. They just, they don't like what's presented in front of them. So rather than fighting through the cognitive dissonance and acknowledging just the bare minimum of what took place, they just reframe it in their head. They do revisionist history in their heads. And I don't believe that any one of these folks are lying. I think they actually believe the bullshit that's coming out of their mouths. I mean, it'd be as if I, someone who wears glasses, but don't like wearing glasses because it's it's a pain in the ass. But I mean, imagine if I, because I don't like wearing glasses, I just said, I don't wear glasses. Well, that's weird because you're wearing glasses. Well, no, I don't like wearing glasses. So these are headphones, but they don't have any of the characteristics of headphones. They're not covering your ears. They're over your eyes. They're very clearly glasses, but I don't like that. I don't like wearing glasses. Therefore, I do not wear glasses. These are not glasses. I mean, that's the level of insanity that we're dealing with here. They are denying empirical reality and it's so unhealthy. Again, they're not lying. They're just believing the lies, believing their own delusions, which is bad because if enough people just don't believe in empirical reality, then going forward, I don't know how we remain a country. So let's get to some of the specifics here. They kind of all said the same thing. A lot of them said that it was a setup. Now they kind of differ on what they mean by it being a setup. Maybe they think it was a false flag. Maybe they think that it was instigated by the FBI. Either way, like they just... <laughs> They outright deny what was in front of them. One said, uh, the January 6th attack was not the Republicans nor Trump. It was the Democrats were behind it all. Uh, they're the ones that caused it all. There's no way a Republican would act that way. <laughs> she was so confident when she was saying this. It's, it's shocking to me. It's, I don't know what to say. Seeing this... It's not surprising, but I, I still don't have words. You know, I talked about a lot of these events that Donnie O'Sullivan and Status Quo attended back in, uh, you know, 2020 and early 2021. And I wasn't surprised, but still, I haven't been able to fully digest the fact that so many people are fucking delusional in the United States. And they're still delusional about, about it a year later, having time to uh, reflect uh, the reporting on it was a giant hoax. We are very peaceful people, so it was a total setup to me. It was the FBI had set it up. I don't believe it was Trump supporters who did that. Another lady said it was a setup. Uh, one person said, I think that it was a setup, and I think that people didn't know what was happening, and I think that they went in there and were caught in a trap. Uh, I saw people that pretended to be Trump supporters, so Trump supporters could never, ever behave that way. It definitely wasn't us. My side would never do something like that. It's just... This is really frustrating. Honestly, uh, watching this kind of made me feel hopeless because, you know, you can try to convince someone using reason and logic and arguments, but these folks are operating on a different plane than all of us. They're in a different dimension. Their reality is not the same as our reality. So I just, I don't know how you get through to people like this. And Donnie O'Sullivan said something really profound that I wanted to share. He says, because of disinformation, denial, and diversion, Americans don't have a shared history, a shared understanding of what happened here on that day. And that is precisely the case. Something that happened a year ago, where we now have cell phones to, to capture events, there's so much disagreement about what happened I just, I don't know what you do going forward. I want to believe that a year later, people are waking up perhaps at least a little bit. But I mean, still, till this day, in 2022, QAnon is still a thing, a conspiracy theory that hinged on Trump being in office. That's still a thing. People are still, after a year, denying what happened on January 6th. And even if they don't outright deny it, a lot of people will downplay the significance of that event when in actuality, that was very serious. That was an attempt to stop a free and fair election from taking place. And that should really shock everyone, right? Because for centuries, we've been conditioned to accept democracy. Now we live in a system where democracy is incredibly flawed and already hanging on by a thread. But nonetheless, we accept democracy at a bare minimum. But those folks are rejecting democracy, but they believe that they're the ones who are fighting for democracy. So 
I don't know how you go forward with folks like this. I hope that with time it would get better, but this video uh, at least anecdotally proves that it hasn't really improved. Trump supporters are just as delusional as ever, and I think that they'll be right there for Donald Trump if he chooses to run again in 2024. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.